Well, when you talk about underrated, typically you have to look at the magazines because they are the rating body per se. And for instance, I'm on the golf magazine panel that selects the world top 100 and the US top 100. And Essex County on the northern suburbs of Boston is not rated in either the world or the US list, and that's criminal. It was his second course where he really honed his design skills. He lived behind the second green for a while, and it is just a wonderful golf course that showed his talent at routing a course and building a course efficiently. And I, I don't think it begins to get the credit it deserves both for being such a treat to play on a daily basis and for being a historic golf course. There's so many memorable holes, especially on the back nine. You have a hole like 10, which I've never seen anywhere in the world, hole like 11, which is oftentimes singled out as one of his best one-shot holes, and frankly, the 17th, which, you know, he had the audacity to build in the early 1900s when Hickory Golf was around, and you just scale, for lack of a better word, the Himalayas. And then you culminate with the 18th as it tumbles downhill. It's just a thrilling uh, ride. 